What's going on everyone? Vince Delongine here. It is summertime, it is hot, it is humid. And what does that mean? That means that the lawn is experiencing stress, but not only is it experiencing stress, it is also susceptible to fungus and disease. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Specifically in my case, I am dealing with red thread. So I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do to address fungus and disease like this. So let's get right into it. So we have a couple areas that look like this. You see these like fine red threads coming off of the grass plant here. We've got a, quite a few areas like this cast over the entire lawn. So you're starting to see that it's uh, starting to experiencing some stress from some of that fungus and disease in a few spots around the area here. I got one spot here, which is actually a pee spot from one of the neighborhood dogs so that's dead but otherwise it's not in too terrible shape but we're going to be using this guy right here this is the uh petra tools 21 gallon boom sprayer here i'm going to be doing a more detailed video on this in the future i'm just playing around with it experimenting with it testing it out before i do a full review but we're going to be using this today to spray this product right here, uh, this is called a Zoxy 2SC Select Fungicide. This is a Zoxy Strobin in its purest form, basically, that you mix with water in that tank right there and you apply to address the fungus problems. Now, yes, I am jumping right into the use of chemicals to address this problem because it is an active problem. I wanna stay on top of it immediately. And sometimes I, I feel like that's the best solution is to go the chemical route. A cultural practice would be to mow frequently, perhaps even bag your clippings, um, mow with a sharp mower blade, and uh, even encourage maybe some air at the soil level. Maybe consider dethatching. Yes, you can dethatch in the summertime. Um, so long as the roots are well established and in the ground, you're not gonna be pulling up things. You're just really gonna be raking the thatch and all the buildup at that soil level, allowing for better airflow. Another thing to consider is your watering program. A lot of this disease and fungus is caused by overwatering. So we actually do not have our DIY sprinkler set up here. I haven't even set it up this year. I don't think I'm going to set it up this year. And that's because we are in a low lying area here that stays moist and which is part of the reason why we're probably having some of these issues even though a couple weeks ago we were in drought conditions we had a ton of rain recently and things are constantly wet here and the soil is always moist and the grass never has a chance to really dry out which is why we have this kind of issue now one of the things that i have done in the past it's a little bit overkill and definitely takes a little bit of time is sitting with like a backpack blower or a leaf blower and literally blowing the entire lawn till it is dry. Um, you can certainly do that. I have done that in the past and I've even recommended to do, doing that in the past. It does take a lot of time though. You're sitting there in a spot and your neighbors are wondering what the hell you're doing because there's no leaves on the ground. So, um, but it does help and that is another thing you could do to prevent disease in your lawn. Now, in some cases you can push the growth with some nitrogen here to really push that disease up and out and things will become green again. However, that is not the case for every single type of disease and it can actually cause more issues pushing the growth especially in the heat of summer. Um, not only can it uh, really uh, drive the disease and fungus for certain types, but it can also stress out the lawn, especially for cool season turf, which is under stress already in the summer heat.
All right, so we just finished spraying everything. Uh, if you have any questions about this application, please drop those down in the comments down below. I do my best to answer every single question. Now, after making an application like this, it's going to take a couple weeks before you really start to see results here. So over the next maybe say three to four weeks, we're gonna keep an eye on this here. We're gonna expect this to turn around. It actually doesn't look too bad right now. I mean, we're still green, but when you start seeing those signs, those patterns, it's time to take action or stay on top of things ahead of time by monitoring the weather. Uh, Sygenta has apps where you can sign up for your specific area for alerts of when disease and fungus may be an issue in your area. You could certainly go ahead and take action then as well, more like preventative action. We are taking more of this uh, curative approach here, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for joining. All right, so it's been about a week and a half since we did our application here, and things are starting to look better. I did lower the height of cut a bit, so you might see a more of a cast of a brownish color. That's because we're, you know, about an inch or so lower than where we were previously. But here's one of the spots that we, uh, treated or I should say was exhibiting red thread you just kind of get some of this thatch out of here and you can see it start to green up here because the new growth is coming in the red thread is gone and that doesn't look too bad you can see some of the green in here so that's all gonna green back up no problem and in no time at all this is going to be back to its prime green color.